Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. We're going to give people another minute or so to join before we get started. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining uh, Cobalt Virtual Connections today. Um, hope you're enjoying the uh, event so far. My name is David No. I'm Vice President of Products and Engineering for Metallic. Uh, we'll be talking today a little bit about uh, some of the new features that Metallic has uh, introduced and announced recently uh, and give you a sneak peek into a couple of things that are coming uh, in the near future. Uh, as you saw on today's keynote, Cobalt has introduced an expanded portfolio, uh, and here we will dig into Metallic a little bit more. Uh, Metallic is the uh, SaaS division of Cobalt responsible for our uh, as-a-service uh, product portfolio. Today, I'll give everyone a little introduction uh, around what Metallic SaaS is and, and the architecture and offerings of, of Metallic. We'll talk about a couple of new things around uh, support in the Microsoft ecosystem, as well as uh, the steps that we're taking to make data management, uh, especially in a hybrid world, even easier. Uh, and then I'll touch on a couple of things uh, beyond backup, which uh, are coming uh, in, in the next few weeks here. So, I think the one of the important things to keep in mind is that we're, we're no longer talking about, you know, a new reality. This is uh, a reality with the pandemic that's here to stay. Uh, and even beyond the pandemic, companies have um, quickly adopted to uh, a fully remote working environment. Um, and now the talk is, you know, this is going to be a, a permanent thing where a significant amount of, of the workforce will be remote um, for the foreseeable future. Um, there are a lot of uh, interesting benefits to this, and, and people want to take advantage of some of the, the flexibility that that affords. Uh, and so for CIOs, it, it really is um, not just a, a new emergency environment, but an environment that's changed on them in a very short period of time. And so this is brought to uh, top of mind uh, a number of considerations uh, for infrastructure, right? One of their new responsibilities is to be able to provide reliable and borderless productivity uh, for the remote workers that uh, that is going to be necessary, especially as people come back into the office. And now you have a, a high, not just a completely distributed uh, environment, but uh, you're going to start having a mix of people uh, eventually back in the office working with um, working with uh, people who are remote. And so the new applications and infrastructure that, that uh, CIOs and companies have deployed uh, in very rapid fashion to uh, adapt to the remote environment, those things are now going to be permanent. So they, they are now critical infrastructure. Um, and keeping in mind how to protect uh, and harden uh, those services uh, is going to be a, a very important thing to consider um, and how to defend against things like uh, disaster as well as uh, malicious activity uh, such as ransomware uh, is very, very important. Almost every CIO uh, that we've talked to uh, has accelerated their cloud initiatives. And so things that are, have, were scheduled for two years out uh, are now scheduled to be done in the next three to six months. Uh, this acceleration has caused a, a spike in, in interest in solutions that are easy and fast and flexible um, and, and quick to deploy and manage. And then finally, uh, business continuity uh, in, in light of all of the infrastructure change has to be re-examined. All the plans that were in place before the pandemic 
um, now have to be adjusted for uh, the new suite of applications, the new locations of data uh, where data is now. Uh, that all has to be considered in, in business continuity plans. Um, and really, it, it's unfortunate, but um, you know, malicious actors have, have not taken a break during the pandemic and, in fact, um, have taken advantage of the new distributed nature of uh, the uh, company's environments uh, in order to increase their attacks. We've seen a massive spike uh, in malware attacks, particularly ransomware. And things like end user laptops are, are a perfect way for malware to infiltrate uh, a company's infrastructure. And it's important to be able to uh, come up with plans and, and to guard against this. So what are the kind of things that, um, that help uh, CIOs in this kind of environment and these considerations? Uh, SaaS is particularly well suited to this, uh, software that's delivered a, at a SaaS model. Um, the benefits of SaaS are, are, are many, right? Uh, SaaS is very simple and straightforward. Um, there's no infrastructure to purchase or manage or deploy or, or upgrade. Um, the software and the service itself, that the, the management of that day-to-day uh, -day is, is taken care of uh, by the SaaS provider. So there are no upgrades. There are no infrastructure overhauls or patches to be, uh, to be applied or managed. Um, the buying pattern is, is extremely flexible. Um, SaaS typically doesn't require a large upfront capital investment. And so you're able to uh, pay for what you use. Um, and being able to adapt to a, a hybrid environment with SaaS is, is um, very straightforward. And this is something that's being borne out in the industry. Uh, IDC uh, projects that data protection as a service will actually um, outperform and, and outgrow uh, traditional data protection uh, within the next two years. So it's definitely something to, to consider uh, for the right workloads in your environment. At Cobalt, we've taken the best of SaaS, the, the expectation of SaaS from a easy to use, easy to deploy, uh, easy to buy, easy to manage uh, perspective, and married that with the Cobalt technology that has um, always provided enterprise grade data protection, scale, security, um, and, and the power that um, the, the software that we've had has always provided. Uh, and we've combined those things in order to form Metallic uh, to provide an enterprise, enterprise grade data protection solution uh, in an easy to use SaaS uh, delivery method. And there are three main offerings that we have today uh, that comprise the portfolio. Obviously there, there's room in a portfolio to expand, uh, today, we have Office 365 back in recovery. Uh, this provides data protection, not just for Exchange email, but also SharePoint, OneDrive, and Teams and project. We have Metallic Endpoint backup and recovery for laptops and desktops, which is of particular interest in, in today's environment. And we have Metallic Core backup and recovery for server-side uh, workloads, such as virtual machines and Windows and Linux file servers, Microsoft SQL Server, um, as well as, um, as PaaS uh, applications like Azure Blobs and, and Azure Files. This is available today in the, in the United States and Canada. We've also recently introduced availability in Australia and New Zealand. Um, I'll talk about uh, our expansion a little bit later, but that's uh, a very recent and exciting uh, development for us. If we take a look at the metallic architecture, um, Metallic is a pure SaaS solution. It is delivered as, uh, as a pure service from the cloud. Um, and there's really no requirement to deploy uh, any infrastructure or software in order to uh, leverage the solution. The control plane is uh, in Microsoft Azure. Uh, Azure is uh, one of our major cloud partners and uh, the control plane is fully web-based. Uh, it is uh, a service that we maintain, so you don't have to, again, apply patches or take care of maintenance or uh, make sure that everything is up to date. That's all things that we take care of as part of the service. Now, in terms of what we provide with the service, one of the most important things to consider is the storage uh, for each kind of application that we're protecting. For things like Office 365 and endpoints, storage is included. 
uh, with the solution. That is with um, O365 and endpoints, you get unlimited storage. For Office 365, you get unlimited retention. And for endpoints, you get one year of retention. Again, this is included uh, at no extra charge uh, with uh, Office 365 and endpoint uh, data protection. Uh, there are also no ingress or egress fees or transaction fees on that storage. So uh, what you see is what you get. Now for Metallic Core, where we're protecting um, workloads that might be on premises or might be in the cloud, it's important to um, put in the right data protection and storage architecture uh, to take advantage of cloud as well as optimize for data recovery. Uh, and this is where we're leveraging the 20 years of experience that we've gained um, working with customers around the world and with cloud in order to provide clear and simple guidance and options uh, as you configure data protection for these workloads. There are wizards that uh, take you step by step through the process and, and uh, provide recommendations on, on the best architecture to leverage. And so for on-prem and cloud workloads, you can use storage that uh, Metallic provides, no problem. You can buy it from us um, and everything can be from, uh, from Metallic. However, what we heard from customers is that they wanted to, uh, for in some cases, bring their own cloud storage from Azure or AWS, and or they wanted to have a copy on-prem uh, for the fastest recovery possible. And so we introduced a concept that we call SAS Plus. SAS Plus allows you to uh, use your own storage, which we won't charge you for. So you, you pay for the service and you don't have to pay us for, for any additional cloud storage capability. You can bring your own, leveraging your own uh, Azure AWS subscriptions. You can also uh, have a, a local copy of the data on-premises for on-prem um, on workloads. Um, and that, again, can be entirely on your own infrastructure. And that's a, a real copy for the fastest recovery possible. Um, it's not a cache, uh, it is actually a real copy and uh, we have retention rules uh, as part of plans that where um, you can dictate how long data is kept on premises, say, you know, two weeks or 30 days, and you can keep copy in the cloud for say a year uh, and that's entirely up to you. So, uh, you, Metallic is unique in this perspective and providing customers with the, the options and flexibility uh, to meet their uh, to meet their deployment requirements. And this all plays into the vision for Metallic, right? And, and what is that vision? It's to be uh, the premier trusted SaaS solution for intelligent data management, where we deliver uh, Cobalt technology with uh, the simplest cloud first experience possible. Uh, and to protect mission critical workloads for companies of all sizes. We have uh, customers ranging from a handful of users and, and just a few terabytes to uh, many, many thousands of users. So the technology is scalable and that's a, a scale that we get from leveraging Cobalt technology um, rather than just cloud technology where which would pretty much benefit us only. But the performance that we deliver uh, is also available to each one of our customers to ensure that we can grow with you uh, as your business grows. So let's talk about some of uh, the recent news uh, around Microsoft and, and support for the Microsoft ecosystem. A few weeks ago, we announced uh, a broad partnership with Azure. Um, you may have seen this in the news recently. Uh, this is a, a relationship and a partnership, not only from a, a go-to-market perspective, but also a technology and engineering perspective. And the goal of this alliance is really to make sure that we can bring the best solution possible for our joint customers to market and to make it as easy uh, and powerful uh, as we can to support all of, the, um, all of the use cases and all the workloads that our customers are asking for. Metallic is, of course, built on Azure. Um, being a native SaaS solution, we leverage uh, PaaS capabilities in Azure uh, very tightly. Um, we natively leverage um, some of the some of the features and functionality and services that Azure provides to to give us the scale that we're that we're providing. Right? Um, we also leverage metallic blob storage uh, for durability and high performance, and make it easy for customers to use that storage. 
Um, and the most exciting part of this really is that we are um, engaging in, in joint engineering efforts to provide innovation at, at the highest levels um, to support, uh, to actually really to marry the, the vision of Microsoft Storage, which is to be the intelligent data platform uh, for customers and metallic strategy, which is to be the uh, leading intelligent data management platform for customers and, and explore the synergies uh, that those strategies provide. One of the things that we've done as part of this relationship is enhanced how easy it is for customers to take advantage of Metallic. And uh, one of the things that we've uh, recently introduced is the availability of Metallic uh, on the Azure Marketplace. Um, Metallic is a featured app uh, in the Azure Marketplace and Office 365 as well as uh, Endpoint uh, are both available uh, right now. You can sign up for a free trial for 30 days it's very, very simple. And the great thing here is you can use um, your Azure commitments in order, to, um, in order to buy Metallic. And if your company has unused uh, Azure commitments or unused Azure capacity, uh, you can simply use it for Metallic um, and Metallic will show up as a line item on your bill from Microsoft. It, it's really that simple. There's no um, additional procurement or, or other things that you have to go through in order to uh, be able to take advantage of, of Metallic very easily. As I mentioned before, Office 365 and Microsoft support are, are, um, are quite powerful uh, and uh, are fully featured today. Um, we support the entire, uh, the entire realm of, of data protection uh, possibilities for uh, Office 365, uh, extending past email to SharePoint and OneDrive and, Teams and others. Uh, we also support Windows uh, on premises as well and in the cloud as well as uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Recently, we've added support for Hyper V. So now, uh, if you have Hyper V workloads on premises, uh, you can take advantage of the, the Cobalt technology and enjoy the benefits that it brings uh, to protect those workloads uh, in Metallic. We've also added support for Azure Blob Storage and Azure File Storage. And so, if you have um, if you have applications that leverage those kinds of uh, storage types uh, on a native basis for production data, now you have an easy to acquire um, way to protect uh, those assets as well. Moving on, let's talk about uh, a little bit about some of the new management capabilities that we're introducing um, that we uh, mentioned very briefly on the, on the, in the keynote, actually. So uh, Cobalt has always supported choice, and this goes beyond infrastructure and storage, uh, all the way to how customers want to uh, leverage our solutions and our capabilities. This goes from uh, self-managed, self-deployed uh, software uh, to Hyperscale X with uh, an appliance model, and now Metallic with a SaaS model to, to match um, how customers want to purchase the software as well as manage um, SaaS applications with uh, a SaaS data protection solution. Um, one of the new innovations that we have is the capability to manage your entire enterprise data estate from a single console, uh, spanning both uh, Cobalt uh, deployed as uh, self-managed, self-deployed software or an appliance, as well as Metallic from Command Center. So. Um, what you can do is after you leverage Metallic's interfaces for a fast and easy uh, implementation and deployment, uh, you can then for day-to-day -day interaction and management, be able to uh, control Metallic from Command Center uh, and have a single view uh, across your entire enterprise uh, from one place. So the way this works in Command Center is that Metallic is uh, promoted as a as a tab on the left-hand side, uh, very easy to see and, and to get to. You can then link your account in the Metallic uh, command, or in command Center, uh, link that to your Metallic um, account. And then from that point on, your Metallic assets will show up in Command Center without having to log in again. Um, and you'll be able to uh, perform day-to-day -day management uh, of those Metallic assets uh, from Command Center, kicking off backup jobs, scheduling jobs, uh, browsing and restoring data, seeing status, uh, that's all available from Command Center. 
uh, it really makes things uh, very easy and straightforward um, to manage your hybrid environment. In addition to um, our management capabilities, one of the, the new exciting things we're talking about is uh, our compliance with GDPR requirements. Um, and you know, data privacy and security have always been uh, an integral part uh, of the Metallic story, um, along with data residency capabilities. And we've recently gone through a comprehensive review um, and accreditation of our, uh, of our compliance with GDPR. Um, this allows companies that have uh, GDPR requirements to leverage Metallic. And really beyond GDPR, um, when you look at Metallic's data residency capabilities uh, and our presence around the world, we have presence in, in the US and Canada and the European Union and India and Asia and Australia and New Zealand. What this really means is that companies with global footprints uh, can leverage a single solution for data protection around the world um, and be assured that um, we can meet regional requirements around privacy and, uh, and data residency. And to that end, with GDPR and, and our data residency capabilities, um, I'm happy to, to announce that we've expanded into uh, new regions outside of North America, where we started with the United States and then we added Canada. Uh, we are now available in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, this, is, this is very exciting for us to be able to uh, bring our capabilities to customers um, uh, around the world and, and in new regions. Um, there are new geographies coming soon, so keep an eye out uh, for those announcements. We plan on uh, adding new availability uh, in the new future. Now let's talk a little bit about um, new features that are coming that are beyond backup. And this is a little bit of a sneak peek of, of uh, what's on the way. Um, and this is, uh, and let's talk about e-discovery for Office 365 and endpoints. Now, this is something that goes uh, beyond what we talk about in terms of compliance with GDPR and data residency. And this is really addressing customer needs around uh, being able to find their data and being able to do compliance and e-discovery and provide a, a, an easy to use interface um, for compliance officers to uh, discover and perform searches uh, of data that they need in order to meet um, discovery requirements. We can do searches um, based not just on metadata, for instance, uh, from and to an email or subject lines or file names or dates, but the contents of the, the emails themselves, the contents of the attachments in the emails, the contents of, uh, file of, of files on endpoints. And you can do this from a single console. So the great thing is that a, a single search can go across multiple data types, uh, making things very straightforward for compliance officers um, and making it really easy to be able to comply uh, with regulatory requirements. And really, it's it's wonderful to to hear um, about the value that we're we're bringing to our customers and, and how uh, we can make their lives easier. Right? Um, there are some wonderful testimonials from uh, some of our customers uh, on IT Central Station, um, and the common themes revolve around you know ease of use and streamlining their data protection uh, day to day operations and lowering the effort required to protect uh, their data and um, doing so without impact to uh, their end users or their productivity, which is actually quite critical. You know, endpoints um, are distributed, endpoints in particular uh, are very sensitive to um, these kinds of operations. And uh, we endeavor to make sure that our, um, our backups and data protection are as low impact as we possibly can make them, leveraging things like our deduplication uh, and uh, compression, right? So, also, some of the, the common themes that we hear around why Metallic SaaS is being adopted by our customers are things like endpoints being remote and vulnerable, so things like ransomware, um, our customers' rapid adoption of new tools like Office 365 and Teams and having to uh, provide data protection for them, 
um, you know, moving away from finally taking advantage of an easy way to move away from uh, legacy uh, data protection architectures like tape uh, and taking advantage of cloud in a straightforward manner. Um, all the way to the other end of the spectrum where customers have advanced applications using storage like Azure Blob and they don't have a way to protect it. Uh, and then of course, finally, uh, providing a secure environment that is logically separated from uh, their own uh, to protect against ransomware and other forms of malware. Um, that air gap is, is quite important and really gives a uh, customer peace of mind uh, to make sure that they can recover from uh, any breach of their defenses. So go ahead, I, I would encourage you to um, take Metallic for a test drive. Go to metallic.io, uh, check it out for yourself and, and sign up for a trial there. Go to the Azure Marketplace, sign up for a free trial. You can get more information uh, at metallic.io or even at microsoft.com slash metallic. Uh, one of the, the great things um, that uh, you can see from, from the partnership as well. Thank you for uh, attending this session. We have a separate Q&A session. You'll have to go back and join a different room. Uh, but I look forward to uh, seeing you all there and, and answering any questions you may have. So uh, we're going to move over there uh, right now and uh, see you in a moment. Thank you.